Hi guys. So, yay, it's Friday. I made it to Friday. Um, it was a big mail day today. I got a bunch of my Confessions of a Tarot Addict decks in all at once. I can't believe it. Uh, some of them I'm pretty sure I know what they are and some of them I'm not sure. <laughs> so, I'm excited to look. Um... I, I want to say, too, if you follow me on the rest of social media, on Facebook and um, Twitter and Instagram, that I know I, I have been posting a lot of political stuff lately, and I'm sorry if you're uh, one, of, you know, one of those people that doesn't like to see that. I apologize. I don't normally do that. Um, I do this uh, school shooting, this latest school shooting, boy, it really, really hit me um, this time, and um, I will say that I, I won't stop doing um, political posts, because it's, I feel like it's my wall, and it's, uh, politics is a big part of my life, uh, but uh, I will not do as many, probably, as I have been in the last couple days. Uh, and just as one other note, I'm very happy to see that the kids uh, who went through this horrible thing uh, really seem to be stepping up and demanding action, uh, demanding gun control. Um, so I am... Uh, hopeful that perhaps uh, the actual victims in this case standing up and saying directly to these politicians we're holding you accountable you need to do something maybe that will help to change the dynamic or at least the way we talk about gun control and uh, mental health issues all of that because there's a lot in this country that needs to be changed uh, around mental health. And, um, you know, some tweaking is necessary for our gun control policies. That aside, let's move on to the fun stuff. Yay! Uh, so, I want to say, first of all, that uh, one of the decks, which I think is this one. Uh, yes, this one. Uh, one of the decks that I bought, which I will show you, um, I'm actually going to do a longer walkthrough of because I am super excited about this deck. I really like this deck, and I haven't seen a whole lot. I found two whole videos, and I think that was it on YouTube. Um, but you could get the book through, it's called Lulu lulu.com uh, which is like a self-publishing kind of site that um, you can order the uh, book through that site or he had another option where you could download a PDF and I'm a person that wants I want the book I want the actual physical book to feel and look at and refer back to and that kind of thing um, although I do have um, Although I'm old and apparently cannot remember the name of it. A Nook book. I have a Nook book that I love. And I have thousands of books in there. And it's all books that I will read once and never look at again. Because as far as I'm concerned, you know, fiction type novels and romance novels and stuff. I like them a lot. But um, it's not something I refer back to a lot. And my tarot books and my pagan books and that kind of stuff, I do look at a lot. So... Uh, so I ordered from Lulu uh, the book for this tarot, and they happened to come, actually the book came yesterday, which I did not know until I got to work today, and I read my email, which said, your delivery had come yesterday, and we left it at your front door. And it was warm and raining yesterday, so when I came home, they left it on top of my uh, cat box, my husband. I'll show you guys sometime. But my husband built uh, 
basically like a huge window box off of our the front of our house off of our porch um, that is screened in so that the cats can feel like they're outside but they don't go outside um, but they left it on top of that why the heck did that just happen Ooh. they left it on top of that and the cardboard was soaked through and so the book is still in okay shape but it's just a little rain warped you probably I don't know if you can tell it's just a little rain warped and I was so ticked when I got home I thought why the hell and it wasn't sent by the post office I think it was UPS which really ticks me off because um, if it was the post office they would have just left it in our damn mailbox which my husband specifically built me a mailbox so that packages fit into it so I wouldn't have to worry about this crap and instead they left it on my front porch. I think it was either UPS or FedEx, I'm not sure. But it ticks me off that I paid specifically to have this book. And it's it's okay. When I look at it, I'm like, you know what, it's really, it's okay. But, annoying. So the deck that goes with this, first of all, here, I'll, I'll show you since you saw the front of the cover, is the Hirohito deck. Hira, Hirohito deck. Hirohito. Hirohito deck. I got it off of Etsy. Um, and I am super psyched. This deck. Is one of those uh, darker themed decks. And he is another person who does a hand drawn drawing. On the front of, you know, like the the brown paper packaging and does a hand drawn drawing of oh 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 please tell me my scissors are up here yes because I really don't want to rip this ooh, ooh, this is gorgeous um, and I'm really super super impressed with this deck um, it is a very impressive looking deck it's a dark deck but to me it's a dark deck without like it's not trying to be all black and moody and stuff it's just uh, I'll have to I'll do a, a complete walkthrough on another video because um, I really want to take my time with this deck um, but I am super 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 excited because I think I'm going to adore this deck. Adore. So, I'm trying to do this so I can cut it and frame it or something because that is gorgeous. I mean, that's just the drawing that he just quickly made on my packaging. Um, so, and then the deck itself does not come with a box or a bag, which is, you know, okay with me. Um, except I want to be able to get into it. It's just shrink wrap. So, uh, and the miners in this deck are, uh, like a pip deck. They're cool looking pips. Um, but it's a pip deck. And, but the majors are absolutely gorgeous. And the, um, Court cards are absolutely gorgeous. Ooh. And I have to say, I'm not usually one who likes this style. Um, it's kind of like the graphic artist comic book kind of style. Um, but stunning, stunning images. And there's a couple that really grabbed me that I thought, okay, I think I'm going to have to have this deck. And I knew that I would uh, need the book because... He specifically goes through and talks about why this image is what it is, as well as the meanings. But um, so I will just show you a couple of oh, what comes up. So this is the King of Cups, right? Okay. So the King of Cups. There's the Queen of Cups. 
Oh, am I shaky? Nope. My mother is calling me. Nope. Go away. I'm doing a video. Uh, and the Knight of Cups. And the Page of Cups. Um, and like I said, I will do a more in-depth video. Um, I did want to show you just a couple of the cards that I just was like, whoo, I need this deck in my life. And I'm usually not this far away from the camera, I think. That's part of my problem here. Um, so uh, the Magician was one of the cards that went, whoo, you must have me. Uh, he has, you know, each of the tools. He has four hands here. Each of the tools uh, showing his outer preparedness and abilities. And the uh, chakras, which are showing up in front of his chest there, which shows his inner ability and preparedness. And the pentacle is a coin in his mouth. Uh, and it does have the astrological associations. And on the minors, it also has the I Ching uh, on there. Mm -hmm. Let me keep this good. Uh, and then, so I will show you the, um, I love the High Priestess too, but I really, the Empress was the, the first card that I went, oh, yes. Uh, this might be one of my favorite Empress cards of all time. So, there's the Empress card, which just was perfectly gorgeous to me. Just mm, really beautifully imaged. So, um, it's just a sneak peek into the deck. Uh, which I will uh, do more of a unboxing uh, in a separate video. Yay, but that was one of the decks that came in today. I'm going to put them down over here when I'm done with them. So I have several videos I have to do tonight. Okay, so the next deck here is also an Etsy deck. And, oh yes, I remember what it is, just looking at it. So, I'm, I'm such a duh. Um, you know, one of the decks, which I will tell you now that I'm kind of showing my um, purchases from my Confessions of Tarot Addict, one of the decks that I purchased, finally, was the um, Bonestone and Earth Flesh deck. Um, so, of course, that will not be coming in in this kind of shipment until the end of this year. Um, but uh, I have been looking and looking and looking. I kind of stopped looking at the making of and the images because I just adored it. And I was really uh, assuming that by the time I got my tax money back that probably I would not be able to purchase it anymore. But somehow... God has decided that that those pre-orders did not sell out before I got my money. So when I did that, though, I started to follow again and watch. I started to watch all the videos that had been done up until now and realized that the Oracle of Echoes is done by the same artist. And I had kind of wavered and gone back and forth and back and forth. Um, and But as soon as I found out that the Oracle of Echoes is done by Anna, who is doing the Bone Flesh, or Bone Stone and Earth Flesh deck, I decided to pick it up because I have really, really heard that um, this deck is, is really a favorite of people's. So I'm excited to have that. There are lots of people who love this deck, uh, so they do have videos on it. So, again, I'm not going to show that unless you guys want me to. If you want me to, you know, just make a comment. I will. 
I just don't like to do the same video that you can find, um, you know, in a lot of other um, channels within our community uh, kind of group. Um, like the Hirohita deck uh, does not have a whole lot of videos within our group anyway, so... Uh, this one, I believe has come all the way from England, so I'm pretty sure I know what's in this deck. Yay! I got my hands on, finally. <laughs> I'm so impatient. Yay! The Pamela Coleman Smith RWS Tarot. Um, the colors in this deck. Oh, I just love the colors of this deck. So, that was one that had sat on, in my cart for a long time, waiting for, you know, that uh, money to come in. And uh, then I hit the button there and finally went for it. So yay. The other one I cannot believe has shown up because I think I said before that I ordered from Everyday Magic because they they had the Anima Monday in and um, she had emailed me and let me know that one of the decks that I ordered, I ordered three decks when I did that, uh, was on back order for them and it would probably be a couple weeks and did I want to just wait or did I want to send them separately and pay for uh, separate shipping. I told them no, since I was getting so many decks, I was like, nah, that's all right. I'll wait a couple weeks, no problem. Then it'll kind of break it up a little. It arrived <laughs> already, yay. So, yay. Everyday magic. I really like their shop, by the way, guys. So you will have to check it out. Um, is that this? Nope. Um, so, what I got from Everyday Magic was the Anima Mundi, uh, the third, I think, I hope, glasses, Jen, are on your head. They don't do much good there. Yep, the third edition of the Oracle of Oddities. Now, my three sets are complete. And uh, the same artist's uh, tarot deck, which is the Antique Anatomy Tarot. They go very, very well together. And um, it's funny, you know, being a, an x-ray tech, uh, this deck and uh, if you look at the wooden tarot and the oracle deck that the same artist does, which has escaped my mind, the name of it. It's a little smaller deck, and I can't for the life of me remember, but they have bones in them, and uh, the wooden tarot specifically uh, is a deck that I, boy, when I picked that up, I really could associate meanings because I knew what bone that was. And apparently, it's funny, when you know something, you just know it, and you kind of assume everybody knows it. But apparently, if you're not an x-ray tech and you don't know every single bone of the body, um, that is a harder deck sometimes for people to grasp the meanings because they're not really sure looking at it what bone that is. So, for instance, there's one with a shoulder blade, um, which I knew was a shoulder blade. And so that kind of said um, the weight of the world. You have the sh your shoulder is able to take the weight of the world. Um, and people weren't clear on that because they didn't know that that was a shoulder blade. Because most people don't, you know, necessarily think about what the bones look like. So I get that, and I'm not saying anybody's, <laughs> you know, um, not, I, I didn't know what bones looked like either before I was um, an x-ray tech, I'm sure. I had no clue. I remember going to x-ray school and thinking specifically wow, this is something I have never had any contact with. And this is something in life that will teach me something that I would have never had contact with otherwise. So uh, it's interesting. 
and I really like the decks that show specific bones and that kind of thing because x-ray tech. Um, so that is it for the haul for today. I am going to do a couple of videos on some specific decks. I still need to do the video on um, my Goodwill haul for the weekend, which I did great, and I've left it all in bags waiting for that video to get done. So that will be coming uh, tonight or tomorrow. And I hope this is the start of a great weekend, you guys. Uh, I am feeling encouraged by the kids from the, the um, tragic shooting that they are... Uh, standing up to the politicians and that maybe as horrible and awful and uh, unthinkable as this tragedy was maybe we can get something to come of it finally instead of a uh, part of my issue with how horrible this was is the frustration that it keeps happening over and over and over and over and our government hasn't done anything about it so it gives me hope um, that these kids, these millennials, which is the biggest generation, they uh, numbers wise are supposed to be bigger than the um, baby boomers. So numbers wise, um, they're going to be a force to be reckoned with and they are just starting to come of age where they can start to vote. So I think that this generation will make a big difference in our country, I hope. And I hope you all have a wonderful weekend and I'll be back. Blessings.